know it, I recall an incident that happened where? That happened in Mecca to Al-Mukarramah. In Mecca, there was a book store where books are sold. One of the ulama from the school of Ahl al-Bayt, he entered this bookstore and he was going through the books that describe the merits of the Ahl al-Bayt Some do exist yes. in modern times, in the land of Hijaz, in modern day Saudi. You find some books that talk about the excellence of the Ashab al-Kisa, for example. When he was going through it, the bookshop keeper came to him and the store was empty. There was not many people searching for books or looking for books. He says to him, I see that you're focused only on books related to the family of the Prophet. So you must be one of the Shia, one of the Rafidis. So this Alim looked at him and says, it is with a matter of pride and honor that I call myself a follower and a lover of the Ahlul Bayt. Yes, I am one of them. The bookstopkeeper said to him, I have a problem with your madhab. Do you know what my problem with your teachings is? What's, my, what's the problem? He said, you exaggerate the day of Ghadir. The day of Ghadir, you say, is a day that God the Almighty announced that after the Prophet, there is Ali ibn Talib who's going to be the successor. We don't believe so. We believe that it's the day that the Prophet said that Ali is his friend. You make it an Eid, you make it a great celebration, you exaggerate, it is too much. The Shia scholar said to him, I am willing to debate this subject with you. I am willing to show you evidence why we focus so much on the day of Khadir. The keeper of the shop said to him, very well, let's set a date and a time, let's sit and have a discussion. The Shia alim said, my condition is it must be done right now not any other time. We must sit now and I will present you evidence why we believe Ghadir is so significant. The keeper of the store said, no, it is not possible now. He said, why? He said, because look at where we are. We are next to a few books. We have to go somewhere. We sit somewhere and we have a discussion somewhere. The Shia Alim said, very well, you must have a room somewhere in the back store or we can go out in the Masjid al-Haram next to the Kaaba and have a discussion here and you. Why not? Why can't we have it now? The keeper of the, of the shop said, you can't because I, if I leave the store, there is nobody who will look after these books. How can I leave the shop and there is, it's empty? I don't have someone to take my role because then the shop will be exposed. This is the moment where the Shia looked at him, the Alim, and says, you have a number of books here in this shop and you are refusing to leave it without someone who carries your duties. Do you expect Allah and the Messenger to abandon the religion of Islam without appointing a successor?